peeling zucchini or cucumber for pasta noodles. Using iceberg lettuce leaves for a salad bowl. Sound interesting? You bet. These are just a few of the simple yet creative techniques international gourmet chef Omid Jafari uses for his delicious and eye-catching raw food dishes. Yeah, well, raw food is just right there, isn't it? The fruit is just there on the tree, or you go to the market and you buy it, or vegetables are just grow, and you, <laughs> you got your own vegetable patch, great. If you don't, go to the farmer's market, pick it up if you're too busy. Supermarkets. Um, simple. To honor the beautiful simplicity of raw foods, Omid founded the Botanical Cuisine Academy. The botanic chef explains that instead of limiting creativity by making raw food copies of traditional cooked recipes, he seeks to truly embrace the raw food philosophy by focusing on all things artistic and heirloom, where organic, seasonal, simple and fresh produce is enough to please the eyes and the palate. I really like the idea of taking flavors to an area where it kind of sets me apart from from other chefs that are out there. I mean, I'm sure everybody wants to be different, but one thing I do like to do is not to replicate food. So that's where it becomes interesting and to create food from different cultures like uh, Europe, being Mediterranean area, the Mediterranean Sea, or Japanese, or Mm. and combining them together. These flavorsome, nourishing, and exquisitely presented dishes are made with minimal use of nuts and seeds and without the need of dehydrators. Thus, raw and organic living becomes easy and accessible to all. The way Omid prepares food only requires a knife and a cutting board and a bit of creativity and a uh, a real eye for detail when you plate up your food. Supreme Master Television had the opportunity to catch up with Chef Omid when he was teaching at a Raw Foods Weekend Retreat in Melbourne, Australia. Let's hear some of the positive feedback from the participants. We're here to see Omid Jafar um, prepare some raw food and show us how to become more culinary geniuses ourselves in the kitchen. Um, it's been a great event, very enlightening. And all I can say is awesome. It was very cool and enjoyed all of his recipes, which included such things as chocolate mousse. Yes, it is raw, it is vegan and organic and delicious. I had a wonderful time here today. I met some beautiful people. Um, people in the raw food movement are lovely. The food was exciting, inspirational, um, artistic, just gorgeous. Uh, the combinations were really unexpected and it gave me some really great skills to take away with me. Omid is a really wonderful inspiration to all of us and to anyone who's interested in uh, raw food to definitely go and uh, see some of his, uh, see his websites and maybe attend some of his classes. Chef Omid also enjoyed the lively and friendly atmosphere of the weekend and shared about his blessed experience. I was here as a chef, the chef who was going to like teach the students, but it felt the other way around. Yeah. It felt like they were the ones who were teaching me and that's the, that's the best part about this, about this social events and going around and sharing. It's not actually me sharing about them, people sharing their ideas. Yeah. And that's the beautiful part. Everybody has this creative chef within themselves. Growing up in Iran, Omid fancied his mom's delicious cooking and remembers clearly her fondness for fresh herbs. Uh, my mother's cooking is beautiful. She makes a lot, she reuse a lot of fresh produce like herbs. It's very much a herb oriented culture, Iranian cuisine. So my Mother always had these beautiful white cotton sheets where she just sat there every Saturday, Sunday mornings and clean all the herb, different types of herbs, mm. and mix it all together. And then obviously for lunch and dinner, we always had a small basket of it. Mm. And so, so that has uh, influenced the way I like eating. Since an early age, Omid got a taste for myriads of cultures as his family made their home in many different countries. This ultimately fed his creative spark in the culinary arts. 
me and my family left Iran and um, and moved to Turkey yes. for about three years. Yes. And then from Turkey to Malaysia for another three years. And then at the age of 12, we moved to, uh, migrated to New Zealand. Yeah. And then once I finished school and started working in cafes and restaurants, I left to travel around the world at the age of 19 and went around Africa, Asia, uh, UK, settled in UK for a little while, uh, South America, and then settled in Asia, Japan for a little while as well. Many unique experiences around the world shaped Omid's life as he patiently climbed the ladder of success from washing dishes to waitering to his current position as raw food gourmet chef and instructor. The first restaurant I worked in was my dad's restaurant at the age of 14. I was a waiter. Never ever thought I would end up in the kitchen one day. And not until I found this part-time job at a Portuguese uh, cafe um, and enjoyed working with food, that's when I kind of realized that, wow, it's nice making this sort of exquisite dishes. It was the first time kind of stepping outside the Iranian cuisine and kind of stepping into the, the Western cuisine. I learned the importance of uh, never compromising when you're creating a dish. Follow the recipe to the letter. And once you know it, then go off beaten tracks and discover. Can you tell us how you got into uh, the raw food? Oh, raw food. Well, uh, I was living in Japan uh, about three and a half, four years ago. I was introduced to, uh, through a very beautiful partner of mine, um, about raw food and its health benefits. And, and at first I was like, you know, trying to push it away because mm. I'm a chef. I love, I've been a chef for 10 years. I love just all flavors and cooking, but it was the challenge of of creating, you know, working with fresh produce and in an artful manner, uh, with a unique flavor and taste, and taking um, food into the raw food consciousness that resonates uh, the beauty of it, and then presenting it and saying, "Hey, this is the challenge. I can do this." After rising up to the challenge of becoming a raw chef, Omid now feels that simplicity has become a cornerstone of his food philosophy. The way I like to present food is that I like, to, I like it to be as simple as possible, fresh, using, of course, colorful ingredients. When you're becoming a raw foodist, there's no need to know all the scientific facts behind raw food. Just, I think, following your intuition the innate ideas that kind of comes out naturally. So basically following simple beautiful colors depending on the season and you know two or three colors should do and then which it kind of balance the, the food out and then of course taking the time out to play with food you know pamper it uh, pay attention to details because nature it's gorgeous, you know, when you really look at nature closely, you see that there are a lot of details in there. So therefore, I think that's another idea within the raw food consciousness is that it's nice to pay attention to the science of food and the, and the simplicity of it, you know. There's no need to complicate things. And then there's the natural pattern of food. Um, you, you design things that the food kind of speaks for itself. And that's, for example, iceberg lettuce. You can get the iceberg lettuce, cut it in half, Gently peel them, peel the layers, and you've got little hands in little cups. And that's kind of the natural pattern of food. And then you put your stuff inside. I, I'm not a person who will be using a lot of fancy equipment in the kitchen. And I think that's the best thing about raw food. You don't need anything. Just a beautiful big long bench, a stone bench where you could like produce your stuff. I mean really it's all about peeling and cutting, isn't it? Yeah. And that's all you need. Let's go with what you can afford. Mm. If you've got it, I think, of course, organic does taste better and it's a lot better and mm. more sustainable. Choosing a raw, vegan, and organic diet has definitely provided countless individuals a greater realization of what being healthy really feels like. It's, it's on a natural state. Um, it's beautiful, it's, uh, it's there full of um, everything that you need to, 
to live a beautiful, healthy lifestyle. Um, and of course, I, I mean, I believe in the health benefits of raw food. It's, I was always healthy, so for me, it wasn't about um, overcoming a health issue. Mm. It was more the challenge part, the challenging part of getting, working with raw food. So, um, with kind of with that sort of in mind, it has brought a lot of other things to attention that, you know, you, I mean, you do feel that you can work for hours. Mm. Um, straight <laughs> this weekend I think we maybe I had a couple hours of sleep in the last two three days because um, it's a lot of stuff to be done when I was working in the kitchen for 12 13 14 hours I was on a lot of coffee but here I'm just on a lot of nectarines or peaches <laughs> <laughs> so you know it's a bit of a difference there and at the end of that you kind of have a nice glow mm -hmm. instead of a, a shabby looking <laughs> face and looking for a bed somewhere <laughs> so I think you know it's it's amazing yeah. and I've seen a lot of people and there are a lot of people online that you know has brought a lot of health benefits to them yeah. change their lives once you've gone through the transition of kind of <laughs> detoxing all the stuff that's coming out of your nerves to kind of approach simple way of eating simple cuisines simple raw food Aside from his talent in crafting cuisines, Omid is incredibly skilled in the art of photography. Combining this passion with his culinary love, Omid has been able to exquisitely capture and showcase the beauty of raw vegan foods online and in books and magazines. Can you talk about your website and your sure. blog? When we first started with this website, our aim was to keep it scientific. Nothing is better than just keeping things factual, simple, because um, raw food is science, and science is researching and understanding, and that's what everyone wants to do. And to, to create something that's going to make raw food and healthy living easy and accessible, and that, that's the aim of TTS, mm. Try, Taste, and Serve. Mm. And then, of course, uh, from there, it's like a mother website. From that, we've got she take a blog where it's my own personal blog where it's all about uh, raw food raw food recipes for health uh, solutions chef Omid Jafari is also a dedicated humanitarian and has been involved in many notable organizations around the world now, over the course of your travels around you've actually been helping with certain charities yes yeah, sure can you talk a little bit about that for sure um, I started working for uh, WWF and Oxfam in Scotland because I've traveled so much I've seen um, some of these charities work especially throughout Africa um, it's beautiful to come across a small tiny little village middle of no end to know that they have a well they don't have to walk for seven hours to collect this muddy murky water so it was beautiful working for these charities and then of course um, Recently, I also worked for UNICEF and ActionAid, and, and and during the middle of between this time, I've come across a beautiful, inspiring man, Sid Joseph, where we teamed up together and created a TTS Bali project, where it's all about uh, helping children who are in need in Bali and helping them with this. It's a big project. We'd like to thank Chef Omid Jafari for offering his time and energy to helping those less fortunate, supporting and encouraging a more sustainable planet, and for providing us with creatively simple, tried and tested raw vegan recipes that anyone can make and enjoy. For more information on Chef Omid Jafari and his exquisite botanical cuisine, please visit www.triedtastedserved.com or shiitakeblog.com. Conscious viewers, we appreciate your spending time with us on this week's edition of Vegetarian Elite. Coming up next is Between Master and Disciples. May you always enjoy and appreciate the simple things that make life worth living. See you next time. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VE.